Hi everyone, welcome to the SimilarWeb training webinar. My name is Gabby and I work on SimilarWeb's market intelligence team. Today we're going to have a session where we'll be going over the SimilarWeb Pro solution and all of the amazing things that you can do with it. If you have not yet registered for our free demo, you can do so by going to SimilarWeb.com and clicking free sign up and then try SimilarWeb. This will provide you with full access to the SimilarWeb Pro platform limited to five results per metric. Similar Web provides you with better insights to make better decisions. Our full suite solutions provide competitive and market intelligence for businesses to discover new opportunities, strategically decide on the best plan for implementation, and effectively deploy their digital strategies for immediate and impactful results. Our global cross-device solution helps you to solve the biggest blind spot in the digital world, understanding what your competitors are doing. But also in today's digital ecosystem, understanding what your clients are doing, what your suppliers are doing, and more. As you can see here, the SimilarWeb Pro platform will help you deep dive in research, monitor changes and track, and gain actionable insights and grow. This will help you increase your market share and win your market. In this session, we will go over the website analysis in the research section. You can see here on the sidebar that you can look at both web and app data. Under web, you can see website analysis, category analysis, and keyword analysis. During this session, we will be taking a deep dive into website analysis with an analysis of hm.com. We can use the search bar on the top of the page to type in hm. We see many results, including both apps and websites, and we'll select the H&M website. On the sidebar is where you can navigate within website analysis. This can provide logical steps for doing your analysis from looking at the audience to where the traffic is coming from, where it's going, etc. Let's start analyzing hm.com and set up our parameters. On the top bar, you can see the time range. You can see the last 28 days, which allows you to track recent spikes in traffic to analyze the trends of your competitors. It's updated daily, showing data up to 48 hours prior to the current date. You can also choose one or three months or a custom date range. Three months is a good time frame to select in order to see trends. To see trends over an even longer period of time, sign up to the Pro to get up to 36 months of data. Now we're using a three month view. Next to the time filter is the country filter. The demo mode shows worldwide. Bear in mind we have more than 50 country filters for websites and apps which can help you compare site traffic in different markets. We're looking at the visits to the site, and currently we're on the all traffic view, meaning it's desktop and mobile web traffic combined. The share of searches for mobile web has grown in some industries to over 50%, especially in the e-commerce industry. So when analyzing a site, looking at desktop only data is missing half of the picture. The traffic share section shows the desktop versus mobile breakdown. And here we can see that 63.3% of the traffic to this site comes from mobile web. It's important to understand things like who is my audience? Where should I advertise? Am I doing SEO for mobile or desktop? Now that we've looked at single site mode, let's make things more interesting by broadening our view and adding competitors to the analysis. Here you can add up to five competitors. Once you start comparing, things start getting interesting. You can benchmark yourself against your competitors and learn how they succeed in their marketing strategies. Now we will add Zara.com as a competitor. Let's look at the traffic and engagement section, which will give us more details. The first thing we notice in the total visits section is the difference in traffic between the two sites, which is very big. On traffic share, we can see desktop versus mobile breakdown. We can see that they each have about 40-60 split between desktop and mobile. Even though H&M is the obvious leader traffic-wise in terms of the volume of visits to the site, visits aren't the full picture. So let's understand the quality of the traffic by looking at the engagement section. Engagement is very important for the e-commerce industry because the better the engagement, the higher conversion rate you can expect. First, we see the visits over the selected time frame and the actual total visits numbers. Click on each metric to see how they compare. Monthly visits shows the number of visitors per month in the selected time frame. Unique visitors shows the number of unique visitors monthly. Visits per unique visitors is the average number of visits per unique visitor in the given time frame. This is calculated by dividing the number of total visits by the number of unique visitors. This helps analyze engagement rates on a website and understand how many times each visitor visited that website. Here we can see Zara is getting more unique visitors per visits, even though they have less volume. Looking at average visit duration, we see that Zara is beating H&M by almost 20 seconds. 
In the e-commerce industry, the goal is to increase the visit duration for their visitors and encourage them to visit more pages on the site. We can check the pages per visit, and what we see is that while H&M is the obvious leader in pages per visit, this is interesting because people are staying much longer on Zara's site. If we were interested in looking more at these engagement metrics, we can scroll down and look at the graph. You can click on each tab and choose between day, week, or month. If you look at the sidebar, you can see geography and demographics, which tell you where the audience is coming from, and basic demographics like gender and age. On audience interest, you'll be able to see what users are viewing before they're entering a site. You can toggle between the two sites you're comparing. Now let's check out their traffic sources by clicking on the sidebar on Marketing Mix. This section helps us understand the various traffic channels that send traffic to the analyzed domains to start uncovering the marketing strategies behind the sites. We can understand where each site is putting their efforts and where there's potential for growth. Here again, H&M is in blue and Zara is in green. They're both strong and direct, but Zara gets a larger share of their traffic from direct than H&M does. When we look at direct, it's a strong indicator of brand recognition as the users enter the URL directly into their browser or use bookmarks. Meanwhile, in search, we can see the traffic share from both organic and paid search. In organic search, which they both rely on heavily, Zara has a slightly larger share of traffic. It would be interesting for H&M to analyze Zara's keywords and better understand their SEO strategy. In addition to organic search, we can also see the paid search traffic share. This is a great place to monitor where companies are spending their advertising dollars and which keywords are generating the most visits to the site. At a glance, we can already see that there are three channels, mail, social, and display, which both competitors aren't using on as large of a scale. It would be interesting to find out if there are any hidden growth opportunities or if those channels just don't work for them. We can see that referrals is an important channel for both sites, around 6% of the traffic for each site. And I can dig deeper into referrals by clicking on the sidebar, but I can also just click here. So now let's dive deeper and see what else we can find out. Referrals are the domains which link to the analyzed sites. Here we can find all sorts of business partnerships, such as affiliate deals, good PR, influencer marketing campaigns, content marketing campaigns, and much more. As a quick overview, we can look here to see which categories are driving the most traffic to each site. We can see that the news and media is a really good referral for both sites. Now let's scroll down to look at the list of referrals. Here we can see the competition. They both receive referral traffic from the same sites, BuzzFeed, MakeLifeEasier.pl, and DealMoon.com. OurStyle.me, a platform for influencers, gives 100% of their traffic to H&M, whereas BuzzFeed gives traffic to both sites, though 88.5% of that traffic goes to H&M. This could be interesting for Zara to look at and see what kind of affiliate deals and influencers they can work with. Even if we scroll down past the results we can see in the free demo, you can already see the competition, HM, in blue, is winning for most of the referrals. This is a great place to find new affiliates and new partnerships. As you go down the list, you'll find more and more surprising referrals. Of course, in our various packages, you can see much more than five results. On our paid plans, we also provide the option to download all of this data directly to Excel, making it easier for you to analyze the data. You'll find the Excel download button for every results list in Similar Web Pro. Next, let's dive a bit deeper into search. Remember that search is a very strong channel for both websites, so this should be interesting. Here, we're able to actually see which keywords are driving traffic to the analyzed domains and the share of traffic as well. The icing on the cake here is that you can see Google non-provided keywords. For those of you who aren't familiar with this term, this means that you can see all the keywords which Google blocks in your own account. This could be up to 70 or 80 of the keywords in some cases. If you scroll down, you can see the traffic and engagement just for organic versus paid. Here you can learn what organic and paid keywords you should focus on and how you can optimize your position. It's interesting to see the traffic and engagement on both organic and paid. Let's go back to the single site mode to look at H&M search terms. On the left column, we see the search terms. We can also see that overall we provide data for 38,246 search terms total. The amount of keywords you can access depends on the package type. The traffic share column shows us the share of visits the site received from each keyword out of all search traffic. We can see the trends for each keyword in the change column, which can help you find new trending, cheap keywords. Just an inside tip, anytime you're unsure about something you see, hover over the little info icon to see a brief explanation. As you can see here, even just the letter H is used as a search term for H&M. Misspellings like these are often a huge opportunity. SimilarWeb can help you discover them. 
You can see here that they are paying 10.44% for just the letter H, and you can see that in the organic versus paid. Make sure to check the phrases section. These are popular words within search terms or phrases that can drive more traffic to a site. Also try playing around with the time frame filter to discover more keywords. Just from everything we've seen so far in search, you can generate some great insights about your competitor's search engine marketing strategy. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to check our other webinars on the free pro version that explain more in the category analysis section and custom categories. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your market intelligence representative through chat or email us at similarabteam@similarab.com. at similarab.com.